Yo, so I'm scrapping after the flea market today. Um, this is what I've had on the truck from Wednesday. Uh, it looks like some, looks like this is sellable at the, at the market. All the clips are there. So I guess that's better than scrap. But I got an exercise machine and a fan. Eh, I guess we'll take the fan. I don't think I'll take the motor out of it. I'll just scrap it. And I guess that's a two-hander. I just picked up the grill. Um, the rest of the stuff is on the truck. I want to go uh, home and unload. Um, I literally just picked the truck truck up at the mechanic. I uh, the other day I blew my, blew my brake line. You can see the oil on the back of the truck um, coming back from the market. So that was I had that and one thing thirty bucks fixed was the I guess it was a. Uh, how you doing? The full, the fuel, uh, whatever gives it the pressure, the fuel pressure line, and that had a hole in it when it fell down and landed on the drive shaft. Um, so I had to get that replaced. So in total, it was like 600 bucks to fix the truck, but it's still cheaper than making payments. And the truck runs nice and quiet, so I don't know. And it always makes money. It's all uh, cash back there. So, I mean, it's not a ton, but. All right, I'll show you the next place we stop. All right, so we're at one of my favorite little dumpsters. It's like in a little community. Um, I thought I saw something. Yes, I did. Look at that. All nerf, the whole thing. And that is a fine and a half. Look at that gun. Made by Nerf. Looks like uh, Star Wars. There's something in here. I wonder what this is. A Pokemon card for the kids, some Legos. Lego cars. That's pretty darn cool. It's a bag that keeps on giving. I don't know. They, they're going to be excited about... I think I'm going to sell these Nerf guns. I can't see uh, keeping them. Amazing how many things people throw out. That's cool. It's not even made by Hot Wheels, but it's like a silver uh, die-cast Hot Wheels car. I can't believe. I just feel, I feel pretty lucky today. I mean, we just got done at the flea market, and I decided to drive around. All right, let's see if we can stick that big gun in, in this bag. As I promise, whatever I we don't sell, you can have. We got the Legos. I wonder what these things are. They look like pool pool toys. So that's cool. We just joined a pool club. Makes me. Guess this is all going in the front seat. It's too good to go in the back seat. But. I don't know. That's how I find my flea market. A lot of my flea market stuff is in the trash, so 
glad I got to show you guys that. All right, next spot. Hey, so I just stopped to pick this up. I picked up this fan and this goalpost and a bed frame, but nothing exciting. There was this, and then on the other side, there's some, uh, sorry about that. I don't know, I have that, that wheel that I was trying to sell today. And this is basically a brand new wheelbarrow. I, I might put that wheel right here, look. So, I mean, it even has the mount. So, I don't know what to do with it. Um, maybe I'll try to put it up by the front of the truck so that way, if I wanna scrap it, I can. I mean, if I wanna save it, I can, I can pull it right out. And then there's some dirty aluminum right over here. See it right there? I'll just walk that back. So you get like nine cents a pound for these lawn chairs the way they are. Unless you wanted to clean them up, but it's really not worth it. There's four of them. So I wish I had somebody cut my grass. I mean, I guess I could. I'm just cheap. And it feels like I get exercise. So, so far the best thing I found were the super soaker guns. Um, I had those two computer towers buried in the truck. Um, nothing else really exciting. But we're just just starting so we'll see what else we get and so I'm dumpster diving just found a good extension cord there's some other stuff in here but I don't know how how much we'll be able to save Found this one a little late. So, worst thing is I get yelled at for rummaging in it. Looks like that guy might come out. The dumpster companies do not like you jumping in their dumpsters. He's kind of stuck. It's so much easier to get it when people are loading their dumpsters I don't see anything else I truly truly need it doesn't look like there's anything fun to go actually dive in there for so oh well at least I got extension cord and that's a couple bucks I picked this up too that was pretty cool scrapper just drove by competition's out woohoo Honestly, though, Sunday's the day you want to go. Um, but made me feel good that I... Uh, he's driving the wrong way. Granted, I'm going to go over what he just went over. and I don't know. Maybe I'll skip and go to the next... How did he miss that? He literally just drove by with scrap truck. Didn't stop for... I don't know, we're just gonna grab this guy. These are good for uh, the market too. It's about 10, 15 bucks at the flea market. So, I don't know. Put it in the back and maybe see if it works. It looks like it's good. There he is, he's in front of me now. Boom! It's all right, not a big deal. Let's see if he makes that left. I don't know, we're gonna race to the good neighborhood, I think. Because he knows what I'm, I'm wanting and he knows what he's wanting. So, we'll see. I know my way's a little shorter. 
bounce, bounce, down. I uh, just started raining. I rain's never good on good garbage day. Let's see. What do you think? You think he's gonna go and beat me to the better place, or has he already been there? Honestly, don't know. There he is. He's straight ahead. He's making. Uh, not mad at me. I knew I would beat him about just about there. So it's all right. Let's see if he follows. Got him off his game. Oh, he's following. Gotta go. Uh, go hit the good neighborhood first. All right. Yeah, this this right up here is the land of honey. I definitely find a lot of good, uh, a lot of good aluminum, and uh, uh, these houses are about one hundred and fifty thousand dollars more than the last houses we were just driving by. Ah, uh, he's right behind me. Damn it! I feel like you got time and you don't. So it is what it is. race down to the end and then see which pile's the biggest. We got first choice, so we get to make first first decision. And he's still right behind me. Don't don't don't. Alright. And it's still early. I got, I like coming here tomorrow. There's nothing here today. Just a waste of gas. And there's only one one or two more little turnoffs. These people were replacing a fence. There was a lot of aluminum from that. There's a motorcycle, but that's not from scrap. Would be cool if it was. Alright, we're going to turn around and see what... Get into the next town. But... Uh, Would have been... Would have felt nice if there was a big load of somebody moving out. We'll, we'll try turning here and let him go back down there. Bow, bow, bow. Drive right by me. I don't see anything. Oh well. It was a fun race though. Let's see, we want to get in front of him so he don't beat us to the next town. I don't know, that's the fun thing about scrapping don't get it somebody else is gonna get it and there's been a ton of times where I've seen something great been like all right I'll go get the truck come back and guess what it's gone when I was a kid these were the woods I always played in all those woods over there uh, I lived on the other side of the woods that's why I know that these houses are a little bit better these kids always had the best toys and everything so I know when they're moving they throw out some great stuff here um, it's raining, raining a little harder. I'm gonna go check that first street just because that looked like the best, best option out of all of them. in that dumpster the other day. But All right, I'll try this one and turn around and defeat. I know there's one or two more neighborhoods to try. Let's see, that looks like a lightsaber, doesn't it? No, it's just a squeegee. I bet that's sellable. Unless it's a mop head. It's probably a mop head. Yeah, it's a squeegee. That's sellable. I'll get two, three dollars for that. At least it wasn't a total waste. But tomorrow this will be full. Everybody brings out everything. Try to go here right before I go to the scrapyard and see how we do. 
they're practicing parallel parking, messing them all up. They're getting all paranoid. Well, we could tell her she can do it. Nah, she'll do it. I don't know. I remember uh, the first time I went uh, to go practice doing that, I took, went with my father, and it was like Christmas day or something like that. I'm a December baby. And I freaking backed in perfect, was pulling forward, and got nervous and slammed on the gas and whammed the car in front of me instead of a trash can. <laughs> I mean, he covered for me. He said it was him, but oh, I was like, I don't want my license after that. And I didn't really screw it up bad, but you know, I felt bad because it was right around Christmas. So, all right, I'm gonna go show you the next place we stop. So I just stopped and these guys are selling their house and they had a dump truck full of stuff and there was a bicycle on the side. So I had that sign up there, it said free. So I went over and knocked on the door and he said I could have anything I wanted on the back of the dump truck. So there's that filing cabinet. Oh, here's a nice little copper pipe. Making my day. Well, I'll give you more room. charge for the Slide it right in. There you go. This is not your first time. Well, <laughs> you know what you're doing. I didn't realize that. Uh, uh, Pennington Pearl. moving up to Hopewell and that's a uh, I don't know it's basically the same thing but I guess they don't have that as an option you want a hand with that when we get on the other side yeah, I should be okay all right what the heck's in it it's empty wow that's impressive it's old it's you know built to last get back up just a hair Otherwise, there's going to be too much weight in between. I would say this is one of the heavier filing. 
cabinets that I've moved recently. Yeah. Granted, I had, in the winter, I did maybe uh, 30 filing cabinets. And the 30 filing cabinets weighed over a ton. So, that's what I'm stuck on the pedal. Like, well, that was nice for somebody to leave you a, a bike. I don't know. That thing's heavy. It's not going to go anywhere, but whew, I would say it weighs 150 pounds. It's right in between the two bikes, but it'll be fine. This thing's pretty cool. It's, a, it's an old milk. Yeah. Honestly, I'll recycle them all, so. I appreciate it. Oh, I see one more copper pipe I gotta grab. I appreciate it. Look at that, it's hiding right there. All right, well, it's a motobacane, the bike? Yeah. Motobacane made in France. That's... This might be better than my, I found a bunch of super soakers. It's amazing how well a uh, good old bike sell at the flea market. Yeah. Uh, especially foreign ones. What, what do you get for something like that in a flea market? Well, that's uh, the whole thing. This, I don't even have to fix it up. I'll get 45 to 50 bucks. Really? For a French bike. Sitting the way it is without being fixing it up. Fixing it up, it's like uh, 100, 150, but you have to remember you're most of that is in your tubes. I'm stuck on a net. Most of that's in your tubes, so you don't have to pay the tubes and stuff in. The, you're winning, and it's a nice light bike. It must be aluminum frame. The neat thing is they put this on to keep it from uh, denting it up and yeah. scuffing the paint. Yeah. So, yeah. thank you very, very much. No thank other, no, no other scrap, right? Before I leave. That's that's it. All right, because I could okay. help. I could help you pull it out if it was stuck somewhere. <laughs> Thanks a lot. Yep. Thanks. See you later. Ha have a good day. If if there is anything, just leave it out front. Somebody will take it. Okay. You, you never have to put metal in the in the garbage. Will do. All right. Have a good day. Yeah, I think if people knew how many people drive around. Uh, to pick up, you know, what, 510, that was probably 20 bucks there at the most, plus the bike. I had to go knock on the door just because I saw the bike and I was like, oh, I wonder if they're throwing that out. And I didn't know if they were paying somebody who was going to go scrap everything anyway. Look at this, there's a rug. That looks like aluminum. We'll go pick up that aluminum. old shower door once I found them that they were brass now these are definitely aluminum that's pretty cool so I'm pretty excited about the copper I like my flagpole too very interesting door needs like one or two screws and it'll be clean aluminum out uh, that moved in the wind but it's kind of held up by the 
exercise bike, so I'm not messing with it. We're going slow anyway. Hopefully I find a big pile that I have to readjust the whole load. Um, we'll find out shortly. All right, stop at the next one. All right, I saw something that might be good flea market stuff. We're just gonna stop real fast. Didn't look like anything huge. Oh, it's a, well, I guess somebody will still give me 10 bucks for it, five bucks for it. It's a folding glass table. Um, not bad. It's kind of cool. Building up that side wall. That is awesome. Look at that. Never, I've had a lot of bikes. I don't know if I've had a mode of a cane. I used to buy them and bring them into New York uh, just because vintage bikes, before they had all the bike sharing companies, were, I don't know, the in thing in the city for five, ten years. So right now everybody's looking for the vintage BMX and uh, I guess French bikes. So I have a shot. Maybe they'll feel like they're doing the vintage Tour de France. So... All right, next one. All right, so at this township, what they do is they put little stickers on the bigger things. Looks like there's a piece of metal. What we'll do is own oh, two doormats. Doormats look sellable too. What I do is I pull off their stickers and leave them so that way they can reuse them. And that way, I'll put something else out. I know I can sell these doormats. And there's a nice piece of metal. So, I don't know, we're starting to get fuller. Bet we're at uh, with that thing. We've got to be at 40 bucks on the truck right now in scrap metal. Maybe 45. So hopefully we find some more. I don't know. Here's a big barbecue. Oh, I don't know what to do. Either take it or don't. Um. I guess we need to take it. The grills are gone. Oh, these. Look online. See the see those trampoline springs? Trampoline springs are a dollar each online. Who would ever thought that? They must use them in crafts or something. I don't think I'm gonna take that just because we're running out of room. And... I think I'm gonna find something bigger. So... At least that's my take on, the, on it. I'm pretty excited about those trampoline springs though. Trampoline poles. fit in pretty good all right see everybody later all right so i think it was good we uh didn't stop for uh you, there is so much music right there is it so, everything wow what it what what's the genre like everything. mostly everything there's punk there's blues there's uh, jazz there's reggae you got so much cool little things i i appreciate you putting all this out I'll be right back. I'm walking this round the corner. Not a problem. Somebody what is...
Somebody bought a box of dinosaurs, and I think they need a mount. It, what is that too? This? Yeah. I don't know. It's kind of neat. Yeah, for the, it's going to the dinosaurs, like the little kid box. That's awesome. Look at this. That's sellable. Got an American flag for... Man. Lucky, lucky. Look at these. Oh, Revolutionary War soldiers. That's kind of fun. I'll take that. This. This is a cool jewelry box. And what's this? Oh, we got a barrel of monkeys. That's a cool vintage match. 1976. And my son will be all annoyed if I don't take this track, but I really don't have room in my house. Bingo is kind of fun. I wonder if the balls are there. I don't see the balls. It doesn't look like they ever played with the cards. Unless the balls are all in here. Let's see. Yeah, there's the dials. That's kind of cool. It's in really good shape. I don't know. I guess we could fit Bingo in there somewhere. Dominoes, what is this? Scrabble Flash. Wow. Now that's an original Monopoly right there. That's super cool. What year do you think that is? so cool. There's community chest in there. Always it's one of my favorite things to do is have that get out of jail card. But look how cool the the original die cast people were. That's pretty darn neat. Alright so we got a monopoly. Oh that's something too. Finding things. I have no clue what that is. Shower curtain. The box is kind of neat. Let's take that box. I played with so many of these dominoes growing up. All right. I think we're doing pretty good. So, I'm going to steal the matchbot or the vintage Hot Wheels, the vintage Monopoly, the antique bingo. We're not stealing it, we're just saving it from the trash. And uh, I'm gonna put this box lid on. Bouncy balls for my brother-in-law who has a bouncy. I gave him a starter room with a bouncy ball collection. That's the wheel for. That must fold down flat or something to fit in that box, but I have no clue how that would work what to do with the CDs. I guess we have to take the CDs. They wouldn't have told me that they were that cool if they weren't. Um, there's some big terracotta pots. Those are sellable. See how I end up with so much junk for the flea market? Oh. Like this box of baseballs. Somebody would die for this if their kid was playing baseball. I know my kid likes playing wiffle ball, but that's a whole box of baseballs. Aluminum pot. Yep, I'm happy I didn't throw that grill on. I would have probably been like, ah, that's, that's it for the day. We could always drive back and get that grill. But most of this stuff would be gone. I'm gonna show you something that's worth five, ten bucks out of here. It's pretty cool. Uh, in this box on the top. I'm sure we'll sell those Hessian soldiers for good money, but see this, this brass hook. It's a hat hook with coat rack. That on like Etsy or eBay will bring uh, easy five, ten bucks. 
Um, doilies, no. Aluminum. Now we could always use aluminum. We'll put. Man, they got books hiding in here. That's baseball. Mickey Donald. What is that? That's oh, a pot holder. I guess we'll have to take these old saws. I know the old buttons are worth money. So if I do, do to scrap them, I guess we'll have to pull those buttons off. But we'll try them at the flea market first. Um, damn. All those CDs. All right, here's a another box of nothing we need there. Put the CDs in this bag. How about that? Should work. That's sellable too. Uh, all right, let's see which ones are burnt and which ones are actual CDs. These look all burnt. Looks like all CDs. So does that. That's pretty cool. Burnt. All CDs. So three big stacks of all CDs. The only sad thing is they don't have their cases, but I don't know if that matters too much. We'll see how they sell. Lawn chairs always scrap. Actually, that one might be clean enough where we could sell it. What is this? Got vintage wire tacks. It's a cool, um, cool little blade. And these are all, if these are all replacement blades. That'll make it even neater. I think they are. Yep. So we got a bunch of replacement blades for this carving knife. One, two, three, four. I'm gonna grab the three back brass screws, use them in artwork or something. But door stopper. I'm gonna grab the unburned ones if that's all right. Unburned CDs. Like you got three stacks there that are. Yeah, take them all. So. How did the sale yesterday go? I couldn't make it. It went pretty well. Um, you know, got rid of some stuff. There's, uh, you know, new furniture, right? I, I'm just doing scrap right now, and I'm right. picking up stuff that maybe I can sell at the flea market. So. Yeah, I, don't, I don't think all these are burnt. There's just one on top. There's some burnt ones, but. Most, like, there's most so of these stacks are. Yeah, there's so much good music. I'm telling you, dude. Well, that's pretty darn neat. Yeah, take these if you want them. Yeah, definitely. Yeah, it's just... It's all on my computer. Well, it's kind of... You know, I just don't have anywhere for it. That is... Oh, I for, almost forgot the American flag. I would have been so upset. All right. That's super uh, cool. Let me... Uh, I want to walk in. There's a few things in the house that are still in there that I'm just going to wind up. Yeah, so. I'll come take a look real fast. Yeah, not much. You got me. It's like the uh, the chemistry set. Remember that was out here? I'll have to take a look. It was a chemistry set. There's a first aid kit. Excellent. All right, I'll be back in a second. All right, so I either made a good buy or a bad buy, but I'm gonna go buy a, a bunch of first edition uh, Dungeons and Dragons books and uh, what was the other thing you had yeah. and some stuff on the mantle uh, but we'll see see what he says he said 30. I got 27 on me. I'll either say yay or nay. Not a big deal. 
How about, uh, is 27 okay? 27, yeah. Okay. All right, sorry about that. So we got all the beer, beer cans, the tractor. Oh, sorry. Oh, no, I just, I just told everybody what I was going to pick up. Kit. Chemistry kit, all this stuff on here. These things are neat. Are, were these actually original? Uh, I have no idea. I don't know either. They look it. This may be my favorite thing here. Between that and the, the Dungeons and Dragons book. Nice. My kids... Uh, I, might, I might have to my urinal, though. That's fine. It, it really is. Just don't serve wine out of it. Yeah, that's a good point. <laughs> back the piss jar. Yeah, I, didn't, I didn't let him take the urinal. The urinal won't go, so it's just, oh, really? no, so I'm keeping the urinal. Okay. Hey. So these were the books. Pretty darn cool. Right back. I'm gonna go throw this in the car. Bottle part of your deal. If you'll give it to me, I'll take it. Sure, I'll take it. Thank you. I don't know. I think the D and D books might be my favorite thing I've bought in a while. Um, pretty darn awesome. <sighs> All right, I'll show you guys those in detail after I'm done. All right, I think I. What is this? It's like six o'clock at night, seven o'clock at night on uh, Sunday. <sighs> well, I think I'm out of here. This is another bike. Uh, bike. Hey, so the camera died. This is the load that I grabbed. I found some more bats and. Uh, lawn chair some golf clubs but by far the best thing i got was this box with the princeton beer cans i got a antique train the um nerf guns tank battles it's a full board game that was pretty cool but i still think nothing beats the first edition um dungeons and dragons books it's gonna rain really soon, so I'll just show them to you fast. Look, they are nine. Oh, that's six printing, 1980. I know he said. Let's see. I have another one. Bum, 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 bum. Where was it? It was this one in the back. That was the first edition. I'm pretty sure. Right there. Oh, now it's fourth printing. Oh, so close. Let's see what you are. I thought they were first. This one might be in that third edition, 1978. Let's see what this guy is. Um, special. I think this one is, I don't know, 79. I don't know. He said all the ones with uh, his name written on them were first editions, so that one has his name. This one's probably the same one. Oh, this one has water damage. But, oh well. So I got one good one. Five, five clean ones, one 
gross one, but it still look cool on somebody's. Uh, maybe I'll take that cover off and stick it on the bus. That would be pretty cool. I don't know. All right. Everybody have a good day. Um, peace. You know, find some find some scrap. Found this in the trash. I thought that was cool too. It's a cool old wine bottle. Um, take the microwaves apart for the copper and uh, see what I can sell. All right, peace.